Okay, so I'm going to explain to you how to use AcroRip with different printers. Um, well, I'm running multiple instances of AcroRip to be used with different printers to make things easier. Okay, so you see I have three instances of AcroRip running with three different printers. First one, you see the R3000. Okay, R3000 is configured. Uh, second window, you see the 1430, the Epson 1430. Okay, and third window, you see the P800. Okay, now, um, so this is all running on one, on one machine. This is not uh, virtual machines, um, where it's an entire operating system running uh, to achieve this. This is, this is not VM virtual machine. Um, but uh, so just to go ahead and, and, and just give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to make these images a little smaller for processing time um, because I just want to hurry up and just get this done. So we're going to go to the first window. Uh, I'm going to just decrease the size of this image for processing time. Also, my audio was very, very choppy on my first video, so I had to do this over. Um, so I'm doing this over just to let you guys see what's going on here. Okay, so uh, I have my image. I'm just going to go ahead and hit print because I just want to show you um, how this works. Now, one thing I did notice is that the print cues do not open up automatically. So I opened up the print cues automatically. I mean, excuse me, manually uh, to show you the files that are being sent to the printers. Here's the R3000 print queue, okay? And then I have the 1430 print queue, okay? And then, oops, don't wanna do that. Okay, and then I have the P800 print queue, okay? So we had three different print queues, three different windows in AcroRip, three different images, three different printers. Okay, so uh, this will let you know when I do this, it might get very choppy my audio because I am doing this all on one computer and I'm recording the video on this recorder on this computer also. So it's taking up a lot of resources and it's uh, making my audio choppy when I hit this print button so you may experience that uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit print uh, just to make it a little real life okay right I don't have my printers hooked up um, I did do a test print with this method and it did print um, so I'm assuming everything works fine um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this um, to the queue Okay, again, this is the R3000. Okay, so I'm sending the image to the R3000. And this is the R3000 print queue up here at the top. Okay, so you see the image is being processed. Um, okay. And this is, so I will wait until this is processed before I would go to another window to send another um graphic uh image to a printer um so we're just going to go ahead and, and just wait for this to process the r3000 uh you just have to give it a little time um also your, your computer specs uh would, would, would matter in the processing time um of, of the prints of your prints so same thing here and you're running multiple instances of aquarip uh, just to keep that in mind. Well, here we go. And the image was sent to the Epson R300, R3000. And now I'm going to send to the P800. Okay, just going to go print. I'm going to send a, a color, a white base. And boom. So maybe this is a process a little faster, smaller image. P800 print queue is right here. Okay. Um, you'll see the file. It's going to be sent there. And 
just going to wait. All right, so that is going to be sent to the P800. And you see it did pop up right there. Okay, and it is with print. And then finally, here's the 1430. And if I just make this image a little smaller, because again, just doing a little test video. All right, 1430. And if I hit print, and I'm just going to print. Okay, and just to show you that this does work. So we have a print job here and the uh, R, excuse me, print job here in the R3000 print queue. We have a print job here in the Epson P800 print queue. And then we're sending the print job to the Epson 1430 uh, print queue. Okay. So again, uh, I have three different instances of Acro running. Uh, here's the image that was sent to the uh, 1430 and then all of these would be printing right now um, If you have questions on how I achieve this, uh, please put your questions in the comments Actually, you're gonna really have to give me a message um, But um, I'll tell I'll try to help you guys out again <laughs> multiple instances of Aqua rip running Showing different printers, I can I can add many instances as I want with this setup. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be doing some things for the community, uh, the DTF community. So uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.